Hi, I'm Alec Delancey, psychologist, and today I want to talk to you about four things that you can do to change your life, to modify your thinking, to modify your behavior, and you can do it starting from today. The first thing has to do with decisions. Now, it's true that sometimes decisions are very difficult to make, and you may be thinking about a decision that you may have to make. Maybe it's a decision when it comes to... Uh, getting a new job or probably starting a job or moving up in the uh, job that you're currently in, maybe a promotion, you have to make that decision and it probably is weighing heavily on your mind. Or possibly in the family, you realize that maybe there are some adjustments that you have to make in the family circle, in the family environment. Uh, possibly you're not the kind of contributor emotionally that you should be or possibly you recognize that you really haven't been there supporting in a number of other ways the family so you realize that you have to now make a decision to start to do better it's difficult maybe you're not a hundred percent sure where to start or possibly there's an addiction you have to break so maybe uh, this might be an addiction you have when it comes to gambling or spending money uh, unnecessarily or probably it's looking at a lot of television or possibly the addiction might have to do with playing video games or maybe the addiction might be to food or something else and you have to now make a decision to make a change to modify your behavior and uh, this could be difficult for you behavior change can be quite difficult for a number of persons it, it's not an easy thing but you have to make that decision which is like a significant step towards having behavior change making a decision and when what can help you to make that decision is probably think about if you change your health what will your life be like if you change the relationship with your family what will your life be like if you change maybe your job what will your life be like these are some questions you probably can ask yourself that can get you started in making a, a decision so that you can have that behavior change in your life uh, so that's point number one point number two the second point has to do with planning now, I know that sometimes we may just wake up and say, you know what, uh, today seemed like a good day. I think I'm going to go outside and I'm going to probably buy this or buy that. Or maybe I'm going to just have some fun or probably today I'm just going to relax or so. And uh, maybe that's just how the day goes sometimes. But if it is, we really want to have some kind of behavior modification in our lives to make a change, to do something differently, do something probably better what we definitely have to do is to, to plan what planning does is that it helps us to commit to commit to this this thing that we want to change when planning we want to develop a step-by-step -step process because the reality is if we make a decision to change and we're all motivated but somewhere along the road, we decide that probably this is too difficult. If we have a plan, then we can say, okay, this is too difficult. Because as I said before, behavior change can be very difficult. But with a plan, it says, okay, what's the next step? What's the next step? What's the next step? What's the next step? And it kind of breaks up the the goal that you want to achieve if it's with family or educational goal or maybe it's a career goal or maybe it's a, a breaking of a addiction whatever that goal is your planning breaks it up so you can sit down with a pen and a piece of paper and you could actually plan okay this is the first thing i want to do this is the second thing i want to do this is the third thing i want to do the fourth as the case may be and you can even put next to it uh, time periods now the reality is you don't know for certainty if these time periods you'll be able to complete what you actually plan in a specific step along the, the way to meet your major goal. But the point is once you have a time period attached to it, you are motivated to work towards it. Or if you are not motivated to work towards it, you can now sit back and say to yourself, um, why why did i not achieve a specific 
part of the goal or why did I not achieve a specific step along the path that leads to my goal. The third uh, point I want to highlight has to do with just getting started. Now sometimes we wait for the perfect opportunity, the perfect time to start something because okay so I need to get my health under control so I, I need to probably lose some weight or maybe I need to gain some weight or possibly I need to bring my blood glucose down or maybe my blood pressure I need to have it under control or possibly I need to enroll in this school to do these sets of courses or possibly I need to uh, update my um, resume or my CV so that I can um, be prepared so when my supervisor asks for it I can present it for another position in the company or possibly I need to prepare my CV and my resume so that I can apply for a position that I know is going to be opening soon maybe in another company or something of that sort so getting started is important it's necessary for behavior change you can think about it we, we call it in uh, behavior modification we call it uh, activation so it's like you activating uh, something you starting something and it can be very uncomfortable i don't want to fool you and tell you that starting something new is always comfortable it's it's not always comfortable sometimes when we start something new that we really like and we enjoy and we always want to do for a long time it could be comfortable but a number of times when we have to do a, a behavior change and create these new habits that we may have always dreamed about but never really um, work towards it or never really put anything in place to achieve it, it can become very daunting or challenging to get started. But it is important that we get started and, and getting started anywhere. Sometimes we might have the plan, but we realize that the first step is is, is, is so difficult. Um, I don't know what to do. And probably the first step needs to be uh, changed or modified somewhat. So it might be getting started might just be changing that first step and modifying it a little bit. That is also part of getting started. So you don't have to feel as though that you are just there and you haven't started change your first step work on changing the first step maybe evaluate uh, when you plan to do the first step or how much you really could achieve with this first step in a realistic way and maybe that is could be seen as the getting started fees and uh, the fourth point i want to highlight to help you to modify a behavior or to change a behavior or to uh, move towards a specific behavior that you um, always wanted has to do with measuring your progress uh, how do we know that we really achieve a specific step along the path that leads to our goal or how do we know we even achieve the goal in the first place well we definitely have to measure the process and uh, in measuring the process, it's always good to ask ourselves a series of questions such as, am I getting more out of life? I know I wanted to get more out of life and you will know what more means for you. So you always wanted to do more. Maybe you wanted to um, start jogging every morning or every other morning or at least twice a week. Are you getting that done? Uh, you planned to do it about two months ago have you been able to do it at least on the days or even if you miss one or two days in between have you been able to consistently started jogging or exercising or maybe it's in the area of, of meal planning have you been able to prep your meals put that put it in the containers and put it in the fridge or the refrigerator or maybe if it's every morning you get up and you you prepare it have you been able to do that successfully day in day out so you you want to measure to see how much progress you have actually made you also want to look at your daily 
activities your weekly activities your monthly activities so it might mean that at the end of the day you just take five minutes this doesn't have to be a long reflective meditative thing it can just be at the end of the day you take some time off and you say okay have i achieved what i set out to achieve today that wasn't my plan or at the end of the week have i been able to actually achieve what i planned to do each day uh, at the end of the month have i been able to achieve what i plan to do each week so it's like looking at this step-by-step -step process and i can guarantee you that when you do it you will actually see areas to improve but also see areas that you have improved in and that too can give you the motivation to continue to work on yourself to work on that behavior that you want to achieve you can ask yourself some other questions such as what have you learned those are some good reflective questions to measure your progress what have you learned another question um, what contacts have you made maybe you started off working on your own uh, side hustle or your side job what contacts or who have you spoken to for the week who have you spoken to for the day who have you spoken to uh, for the month ask yourself these questions it will help you to measure your progress because when i don't measure my progress sometimes things just happens and you look back and it's like hey you know a month passed did you really achieve did i achieve what i planned to um and it's it's only because the month passed and i recognize oh i didn't know uh, I, I didn't do what i was supposed to do but if i was probably asking myself at the end of the day at the end of the week then at the end of the month it will not just hit me so the encouragement to you is that you put these strategies in place because when i do put them in place i see the necessary movements the the progress that i can make another question you can ask yourself is what have you learned about yourself throughout the process of behavior change what have you learned about yourself uh, have you recognized that you're probably stronger than you thought have you recognized that you might be strong in these three areas but maybe this particular area is constantly gnawing at you is constantly uh, uh, aggravating you and probably you can't do it on your own maybe you may need to have external help and the external help does not necessarily need to be a person who is like a personal trainer or an accountability partner now sometimes a personal trainer or an accountability partner might be what you need that physical person to say okay have you done this today have you done this today have you done this yesterday what have you done what have you done what have you done probably someone uh, over your shoulder is what you need because there are some people who when that happens they do remarkable work just having someone to account to but this person or this um individual does not necessarily have to be a physical person it could be it can be probably uh, a book so it can be a book that you read and uh, so the book is well the book is physical it was written by a real person but the information is what is helping you to recognize okay i need to make this change and this is what this book is telling me that these are the steps that i can take to make this particular change that i find difficult or maybe it could be that you listen to a podcast or maybe a youtube video or probably you um, attend a seminar or you tend to attend a workshop and uh, you get the information so the information now becomes what is pushing you or what is driving you or what is helping you to now make a better plan um, get you started help you with decision making possibly help you when it comes to um, planning out step by step what you need to do in order to achieve a specific goal so i think behavior change is possible and for a number of us who have done something where it requires really hard work we will know that at times it could be really daunting but when we achieve what we set out to achieve we feel good about ourselves it builds our it boosts our self-esteem and uh, of course when we are boost our self-esteem when it is boost 
then we are able to actually even go out and do many more things and then to the other people who are counting on us so continue to work on yourself use these four strategies decision planning getting started and measuring your progress to see yourself uh, make necessary positive behavior change in your life i'm alec delancey hope that this content was uh, something that you can benefit from please like subscribe and you could even leave a comment as you feel free take care